Okay, so uh, here I am again. <laughs> uh, this time uh, with uh, charting uh, uh, an uh, extension that uh, Danis and I have uh, maintained for some time. And uh, during the last year since uh, since last meetup, uh, there has been some uh, new things coming in. And uh, that's what I wanted to show you, because they're getting quite powerful additions. Uh, so it builds on the J3 chart, and uh, it's also, if you just use the um, uh, showcase uh, app, you can see uh, some of the charts that has been uh, available for a long time. And uh, the library uh, extensions uh, will, of course, uh, be in there too. But uh, I need to come up with more same uh, examples for, for them. Uh, this is also some parts which has been sponsored by the, the Swedish uh, Research Council. So uh, gratitudes to uh, them. Uh, I can also say that I'm also uh, involved in XSDB for 10 plus years also, so... Um, uh, uh, so, uh, uh, where does the charting come in with Drama Web? And yeah, it's displaying different kinds of st stats, numbers, percentages, uh, showing presence, uh, poses, which can be interesting to some researchers, for instance, how many poses uh, does each of the uh, uh, characters uh, do in each of the scenes or acts and so on, just to see who is uh, uh, expressing power or something that can uh, uh, be seen. Uh, so for that, we added uh, a scatter uh, plot which we can use the uh, old category data set uh, for. Uh, so, uh, in this case, uh, it just prints uh, some uh, presence, okay, it's present in the first uh, scene, or uh, so on, and you can easily see who is on stage at the same time. Uh, but, since uh, uh, we also want to have some kind of extension in time, just to show proportion, uh, we had to add uh, the XY data set, which has not been present before. So now you can have XY uh, numeric data. Uh, and uh, in this case, also new configuration uh, parameters. So you can see we're using foreground alpha, which makes the colors a bit more uh, modern. <laughs> uh, and you have new configuration dot height. So in the previous one you just saw there were different kinds of symbols. So now you can uh, make them extend in uh, x and y uh, directions. So you can make height and width, for instance. So this is a completely new uh, data set, xy uh, data set. So it's uh, just to, I will show you later on how it looks like, but it's simple x value, y value. Uh, but also in addition to that, there is a new x, y set uh, data set. So you can have three dimensions, uh, which uh, makes you uh, these kinds of uh, possibilities to produce bubble charts. So you can ha use the y, y uh, said uh, dimension to, to express the uh, now circles are not the best way to 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 do that since uh, it's a squared uh, property uh, for the area so uh, it's uh, it's not good for humans to read uh, but uh, just to give you an impression of what you can do if if you like to do bubble shots you can do it now because you couldn't before uh, and you can see you can use either integer uh, or uh, other kinds of uh, uh, markers. So, uh, yeah, 
So this is also using the XYZ data set as uh, is new then. Uh, and with the XY data set, you can also produce these kinds of uh, charts. So it's an area chart in case you're interested in, in uh, utilizing that feature. Uh, you can produce ring charts, very popular in newspapers nowadays. Uh, so you can uh, also, of course, have the division uh, dividers go away. You can have the outline and uh, you can have the explanations, uh, etiquettes and so on, uh, on or off and uh, a lot of configuration options. <laughs> And this is also something uh, which is brand new. Uh, so we have the XY line chart with intervals. So this makes it possible to show, for instance, uh, in this case we could say series one is uh, a character on stage. Uh, no, he's not on stage or he, she is not on stage until here, for instance. Yeah, and you can see, okay, who is on stage? Okay, that's for instance, for instance, or you can use uh, Gantt chart or, or so. Uh, so the next next addition to this is to have subtasks too. So you can have both tasks in time, starting this day, ending that day. Uh, you can also have several subtasks in there, uh, which requires yet another data set addition, but uh, it will come there. Uh, but currently, you can at least use uh, the XY data set uh, and producing these intervals. Because uh, in this case, you just have null for, for the Y values, so it gets a, the intervals that way. And uh, also, of course, I, I need to say, I have some explanations in, in, in the headers also. So it's using symbol axis here. You can see, since even though this is a, a numeric XY uh, data set, you can map that to a symbol axis. So for instance, you can then say, OK, this should be this series, so it should be this character or whatever, uh, uh, mapping that to, to numeric values. So that's also configurable. And this is a brand new, not yet released though, uh, uh, chart type. It's the Sunburst chart. I mean, it's popular in some uh, areas, uh, looking like um, you can also use tree, tree maps and, and, and so on. This is just a variation of that. So you can see, for instance, the uh, the sunbursts going out uh, where you have different divisions of, 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 of percentages of, of it. So this is completely new type of chart, uh, which will come very soon. Uh, you can, of course, configure the colors. These are uh, just the default colors. So it can be a bit too black here, for instance. So. Uh, like you said, uses a free chart uh, and batik for if you're producing SVGs. Uh, can also produce PNGs for pip. Uh, yes. Uh, and uh, there are other examples of the other types, the basic types in the in the showcase app, which is also available on. Uh, on both GitHub and in the app repository. So uh, what I have shown you here is uh, more chart types, more different data set types, uh, more chart specific configurations, uh, so on. And uh, there will be a new iteration with this, as you saw with the Sunburst chart, for instance, and so on. Uh, and with the, the interval uh, task Gantt chart-like things possible also to produce easily. And I will just show you how it can look in the configuration. Uh, again. 
So for instance, let's see, need some scrubbing. <laughs> So here you, you can just uh, set a lot of configurations. Uh, should the orientation be vertical, the height and width and the title and the title color? Uh, where should the range start and the end and uh, stuff like that? Very easily configurable. Uh, what should the labels be for it? And uh, there you have the foreground alpha. Uh, uh, and so on, margins, tick units, everything you can just easily set in one configuration and produce uh, automatically for a lot of different uh, data. So here you see an example of the XYZ data set. Uh, you, you can just say, see here, uh, easily configurable and you can produce it in any way you like. I mean, if you want to have percentages or, 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 or so, you can easily do it like, oh. Uh, so for instance, there is one actual uh, play here uh, showing this from our live uh, data. Uh, so you can see, uh, not very much, but uh, you can see here you have percentages on this uh, axis and you have a symbol axis here representing the different uh, characters of the play and you can see that Siri uh, is a very uh, prominent uh, character in this play. And also, if you combine it then with uh, the relation graphs and the sociograms, you can definitely see that uh, you have a very good picture for either selecting this for uh, some investigation or just discarding it because it's not interesting from the perspective that you want to uh, research it. Yeah. So you can see. There is some minor characters here. You have the uh, aid, uh, Ida, uh, and so on, just uh, coming in now and then. OK. So I think that's it. And we have four minutes for questions before lunch break. OK. Can you show us the input data, please? The input data for the different Yeah. Okay, so I already showed you the one for, for the bubble chart. Uh, so for instance, I can show you, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, uh. So these are just uh, calculated and stored like this. I will show you the one for, for the, the last chart uh, we saw. Let's see. So in this case, you can just see the series is uh, series here, uh, and you have the different uh, times when someone enters or exits the stage. So those are the divisions. In this case, I mean, you cannot tell from the data that that is the division, but that's the division here. So she's uh, on from, uh, from the start. Uh, She's also uh, on, 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 on. So these are our are, are percentages. So this is 4.4% for <laughs> of, yeah, into the play from the start. So, so this is just uh, calculated. So if we take another uh, character coming here, 
yeah, there are a lot. So the, here you see then uh, the new feature using null for, for the y value means he's, he's not present uh, on the stage, for instance. And you can see not very present until 4.1% uh, into the play, <laughs> first appearance. So that's the data set for that last chart. Okay. Then I think it's time for lunch. Thank you for uh, listening. Uh, it's one and a half hour until we start the next block. So that should be 14.30 uh, back here done. Thank you very much. <laughs>